Look at this amazing scripture. Genesis 1 verse 29. And God said, See, I've given unto you every herb that yield seed, which is on the face of the earth, and every tree whose fruit yield seed to you, it shall be for food. This is amazing. We started in Genesis 1, 1. We are now in Genesis 1, 29. And in, in here we see God is laying down the principle that governs the life of every human being on the face of the earth. He's talking about the seed here. What's for seed and what's for food. And you do not mix the two. You cannot make everything a seed. If you make everything, consider everything to be a seed, you will suffer. And if you consider everything to be food, you will suffer. Because you won't be able to perpetuate what God has given unto you. So you're going to learn to tell the difference. And this was a handover meeting. You know, when God created all these plants and all these animals, Adam was not formed yet. Adam was created last. So he was being introduced to what belongs to him and to the principle that underlies creation. So, you know, even this affects everything, even your finances. You're going to know what needs to be used as a seed, what needs to be invested, what needs to be served or tithed, and what can be eaten, can be used for food. You know, the Bible says in Psalm 115, verse 16, the heavens of the heavens belongs to the Lord, but the earth has he given to the sons of men. So the earth has been given unto you and you're going to learn how to govern it. And God was laid down the foundation here, the principle here for how we are going to perpetuate what is given unto us. The seed, what's for seed and what's for food. Because at the end of the day, like Luke 6 verse 38 says, when you give, when you give something out, it's given back unto you in good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Genesis 1, verse 29. That's the scripture for today. a video on YouTube. YouTube makes that video viewable to more people. It increases visibility and exposure of a video. And in that way, you would have played part in spreading good news. If you want to know more about freedom, you want to know what freedom looks like, different forms of freedom, the seven steps you need to take to be free. Get the book. Born free to live free. The Bible says in Galatians 5.1, it's for freedom that Christ has set us free. So go on Amazon, get the book. The link is below. The links to, to get this book is on every YouTube video I have posted. So go and get a copy for yourself.